हेलो मैम अरे हाँ आई कॉल यू लेटर कैसा है बस बस बढ़िया मैम आप कैसे हो बस बढ़िया आपकी वीडियोस वगैरह देखता हूँ मैं बहुत बढ़िया रहता है क्या बात है क्या बात है अरे तू लास्ट टाइम वो बोल रहा था कौन सी नई बैंक में तुझे जॉब मिला वो था आई फुल टाइम फुल टाइम ट्रेडर ना ट्रेडर मैंने लास्ट मंथ मैंने कुछ पास ट्रेड किए थे पूरा हंड्रेड परसेंट वो जॉब वगैरह बहुत ट्रेडिशनल हो गया वो ट्रेडर इज बेस्ट Hey folks, see you Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very interesting video which is about can you replace your salary with stock market income. So if you remember in the pre-bumper of the video, one of my students came up to me and he said that I have now become a full-time trader because he had gotten five profitable winning trades. Now the big question is that based on five trades should you ideally ideally be quitting your job and should you become a full-time trader right away? could there be a possibility that there was some beginner's luck because of which he got all those five trades as profitable trades so in today's video we are going to discuss about the pros and cons of thinking about quitting your full time job and becoming a full time trader well many students or many beginners who feel that they should be going into full time trading they are like chi i am not cut out for the 9 to 6 thing and they feel that 9:15 to 3:30 they are done for the day but those who are professional traders those who have been in this field for almost 10 15 or more than that years ask such people if their job really ends at 3:30 in fact i personally believe that their studies will start after 3:30 and will go on for long number of hours only execution part will come between 3:15 uh, between 9:15 to 3:30 so please understand that though this might sound to be lucrative it does come with its own set of difficulties and it requires some sort of expertise so if you are still in that dilemma that should i quit my job and shift to becoming a full time trader please understand that whatever is your active source of income salary that will be gone so i personally believe that you should not be thinking about nullifying an active source of income just to become a full time trader instead of that why shouldn't you focus on generating multiple sources of income instead well now if you are confused that rachna ma'am is saying that ideally i should not be quitting my job and i should not become a full time trader in that case is there a possibility that i can manage my job and i can also do trading simultaneously for that you have to understand one very basic point that is if you were to become a trader you always have this misconception in your mind that you have to be in front of the screen from 9:15 am to 3:30 pm that's not the case there are a lot of traders who have their own sort of setup i know few people who might be entering at 9:15 and they quit their trade at 9:20 they are done for the day okay there are some people who might be taking a trade after the european market open and they'll be closing off the trade within 10 minutes okay be it profit or be it loss they have their own target price set they have their own stop losses set also there are some people who would be doing only btst trades they'll be buying something at let us say 325 and they'll be quitting it next day somewhere around 920 so ideally what traders do is that they try to master on a single strategy rather than playing on multiple strategies okay now if you were to start your trading journey what you can do is that instead of running behind those one minute trade two minute trades which can be really really tricky you need a lot of expertise for that and i am not the right person to talk about that because i don't master in such categories myself so i'll not be talking about those kind of trades but some types of trades that even i do is nothing but a swing trade or a positional trade wherein the duration for which you hold the trade would be somewhere between 3 days to 10 days now question would be when when do you study for such trades ideally you can study for such trades after your office hours you should be having things set in your mind okay if the uh, price crosses xyz level then ideally you should be entering your target price should be this and there should be your stop loss so things should be there in your mind correct i have a lot of strategies in my technical analysis course as well so if you want to check that out you can definitely check that out on my website rachnaranade.com but going back to our point now as i mentioned what you can do is you can just put an alert right if your price point is met you will get an alert now actually executing the trade even during your office hours how much time is it going to take maximum 5 minutes right so now if you feel that yes i have now understood that i can manage my job and my swing trading simultaneously and if you feel that okay i'm all set in such a situation some friend of yours will come and then he will try and just mess up things in your mind how 
Have a look at this. Hi Pratik. Hello sir. How are you? बस बस सर बढ़िया अरे मैम बता रही थी तेरे बारे में वो बहुत अच्छा ट्रेडिंग कर रहा है आजकल हाँ सर मैं फुल टाइम ट्रेडर बन गया हूँ पूरा हंड्रेड परसेंट एक अच्छा क्या ट्रेड करता है मैं इक्विटी में करता हूँ कैश में मतलब तो डिलीवरी रहता हूँ कुछ बीस एक टक्का मिल जाता है मेरे को कैश डिलीवरी बीस हाँ। अरे जिंदगी का असली मजा तो ऑप्शन में वहाँ पे पैसा यू मल्टीपैगर होता है अब मैं तुमको सिखाऊँगा असली ट्रेडिंग सर 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 profit and loss account only in the F&O space for one year minimum and if possible two or three years and you for yourself can check how many of these people who are who are teaching you with conviction about options are themselves into profits and you will find the truth for yourself so please be aware about this point i personally very much believe that F&O or intraday trading is highly overrated but as far as swing trading is concerned or positional trading is concerned or even investing is considered for that matter that is highly underrated well all in all to wrap up the discussion why did we start discussing about this the whole thought process was how can you generate some extra money some additional source of income for you as i mentioned if you are still sticking to the decision of continuing with your job let's understand what could be the sources of your income can you have salary as your active source of income yes from that active source of income can you save money and can you invest in stocks yes can you invest in mutual funds yes can you also invest in bonds yes can you also do some use some money for swing trading also yes why not these are just examples you can do much more than that right but if you decide that i'm going to quit my job salary gone but that will be replaced with something right what will be that that will be your gains from your intraday trading but why is the color shaking so much because in intraday trading it it is going to happen that you are going to make losses and profits so this is not going to be a steady source of income like salary it's going to be a very variable source of income now understand if your basic source of income itself is variable can you do sip in mutual funds very confidently i really doubt will you have a large money every single month to invest in good fundamentally strong stocks again you can say that all these blocks are now becoming a little bit wobbly same logic goes for investing in bonds and debentures as well all in all just to wrap up this entire discussion i can say that yes you can make money with trading but always remember that you can generate wealth with investing if you want to know more about swing trading you can check out one swing trading indicator in this video and if you want to know more about how to become rich you can click here till then take care jai hind and bye bye